Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day. And I try things so you don't have to. I am over at Jack in the Box today to try their brand new Asian fried chicken sandwich. I love Asian inspired stuff. Chinese food is my favorite cuisine and when I saw this as one of their three offerings for this food truck type of thing they're doing, I thought, okay, this I at least at least I gotta try this one first, if nothing else. Let us go to the clipboard of fluff. It says, go on a culinary adventure with Jack's new food truck inspired Asian fried chicken sandwich. It consists of crispy all white meat chicken strips, crunchy Asian slaw, fresh cucumbers, and a bold gochujang mayo on our new toasted baguette. I had no idea what gochujang mayo was or what that even was what it what it consisted of so i looked it up what this is is it is a fermented chili garlic and rice based sauce that's very popular in korea it's a hot sauce paste powdered consisting of powdered chili pepper sticky rice miso corn syrup salt garlic and sometimes soy sauce now you know. There is the bag it came in. Went through the drive-thru. Got a single napkin. Ooh, they spare no expense. Got the damage and the sandwich itself right there. Chicken. I'm gonna use my handy dandy steering wheel desk and set that up so I can spread everything out in front of me. And that looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent sized sandwich all wrapped up in the aluminum foil. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so we have the baguette. That looks pretty nice. The uh, chicky, chickies, <laughs> the crispy chickies in there. The um, cucumbers. And then that Asian slaw. Hmm, not a lot, not a real strong smell to it. So I'm not sure exactly what to expect. All right, let's give it a shot. What end? What end? Let's give it a shot right there with all the cucumber and the slaw. Another shot. Third shot. Opening it completely up, I do see a good amount of that gochujang sauce on it. I assume that's what it is. There's a close-up look at the breaded chicken for you. Try that by itself. Okay, take this piece by piece. The baguette is nice, it's fresh. The cucumber is crispy. Uh, it's got a nice crunch to it. It doesn't stand out a whole heck of a lot. You know it's there, but is it uh, cucumber or is it something else? It's a little hard to tell with everything else going on. The slaw mixed with the gochujang sauce um, has a creaminess to it, it's not, a creaminess like a coleslaw, like something you'd get from KFC. But I think it's more cabbage-y, just plain cabbage-y, that's mixed with that sauce. So that's what gives it the sauciness. The sauce itself does have a small bite to it. It's not even close to being hot, but it does have that bite to it. I would think that it would be a little bit hotter and maybe in its original form as what it is supposed to be as a authentic Korean sauce it it probably does I would say it probably does has a little bit of a sweetness to it at the same time I would say that the gochujang sauce is probably the only thing seasoning and spicing this thing up and, and giving it some good flavor so thank goodness for that stuff. The chicken, while it's nicely put together, um, it's got some juiciness to it, it's tender, um, but the, the flavor is not all that impressive. The, the coating kind of reminds me of a panko coating, so it's, it's more like a, a well-done um, crispy chicken that you'd get at 
almost any other place. Really indistinguishable or standing out from any other um, freshly tender chicken patty. I do like the crunch on it. The damage on the Jack in the Box Asian Fried Chicken Sandwich was $4.99. A little bit over, a little bit more, $5.41 with our tax added on. On the Nerdometer, I would give this thing, I would give this thing a low I like it. Bordering on, bordering on a high meh. There's really nothing wrong with it. It just isn't as impressive as I expected it to be. Um, rather than just, here's a, a different, twist or a different turn on a chicken sandwich um, they it, it, it an Asian fried chicken sandwich coming from a food cart type of thing just tells me that this is something that's going to stand out above any other chicken sandwich so while it's a nice chicken sandwich with some different elements it's not anything that grabbed me by the boo-boo and just shook the crap out of it, you know? It's not anything that's going to make you go, yippee, skippy, I sure am glad I came out and tried this thing. But that's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. If you've had the Asian fried chicken sandwich here at Jack in the Box, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Plus, they have two more offerings from this food truck inspired thing that look and sound pretty good. Have you tried those? Let me know. There you go, gang, another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, I put out videos every Sunday and every Wednesday with live chats every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. You can catch me on my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Old Nerd Reviews all around and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. You guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll see you again. Bye.